the Weather Authority, tracking ELSA. Live from the local station, this is a Weather Authority alert. Widespread wet weather continues to cross areas of Cuba and it's extending all the way up into the Bahamas. And then what we have, our rainmaker, is still that washed out boundary here that's going to drape itself over I-10 and parts of southeast Georgia for a focal point. But if you're looking for a big change here in the storm path, no changes whatsoever here. The forecast track remains the same. The wind 65, 75 and the barometric pressure is what we had at 8 o'clock this morning. The northwest winds can or northwest movement rather continues at 14 miles an hour. We're expecting to see it pick up a little bit of speed once it exits Cuba, gets over that loop current here in the Gulf of Mexico. But our timeline now, if you look at 8 o'clock and you can still see water underneath what would be the center of the uh, position that is based on our Wednesday forecast. And so what that means is we haven't made landfall yet, but it's still going to be bringing us the brunt of what will be the worst of the wet weather. So like I've said all morning long, the things that I'm concerned about would be the rainfall. We've already had too much in some cases. We've got the uh, wind that could start to shake the trees. And of course, coming in with the wind and that rotation could lead to tornadic activity. So here we are Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the morning. I was just showing you 8, so you can see the differences as this is showing that center being over land. The National Hurricane Center has it just beyond that. So I think this looks more accurate into where we would say 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock lunch hour is where we'll start to see some of the peak wind and the gust coming through. This is wind gust forecast. This isn't sustained wind, so we can see sporadic gusts of 40, even 50 miles an hour here, tropical storm force strength type stuff. And that's not going to close the bridges. It's the sustained winds that could close the bridges. Now, on top of all the wind uh, that will continue, as you see, we are looking at power outages as well. We're going to pick this up and explore it in great detail when we see you back here in about 59 minutes. First, and I will join you for the noon show.